All right, Sam B, any last words to enemy team, too? I mean, if you want to uh, say. I mean, you know, everybody keep playing. How long ago was it when I was Bronze 5? And look at me now. What are you at right now? Bronze 3, but I can get out. So guys, I have a change of uh, game plan for the raid boss there. I was like, it should be raid boss, but like I can run the tenacity without having to worry about going aftershock. I mean, should I even go aftershock when I can go for more attack speed since I'm going Phoenix? And that's what you know the whole point. Like if you go and if I go free, let's see, hit a champion. You're gonna get the the whatever you call it, the attack speed. Like just going into free, or you're gonna get the tanky, the empty void underneath Trick's hat. Oh, you see, I can't see it. Oh, I gotta pick my loadout. Cool. Uh, lethal, triumph, tenacity, coop, resolve, boom, armor, save. So I have two choices. So instead of getting an HP, I'm getting attack speed. Then if I start blue, if I start blue, I get uh, machete. Then the attack speed that I get from machete. It's gonna help with the, you know, what I get for my passive and the um, rune that I decided to go for. Because all in all, like I'm gonna build, I'm gonna go raid boss and just having more attacks, but it's gonna be a meltation. Who would stand against us? Oh shit! Open up those gates. Is Nunu like fucking blind or what? Like, holy fuck. Gotta be the blindest motherfucker in the game. So lethal tempo plus um, a little bit extra early max on bear equals boostage and attack speed and the flame more damage. Let's see if he's willing to take it, but he's got to be willing. Power man. The fuck are you doing? Doctor should have been helping him. Rip. I'm gonna say I'm fucking fat. What's up, bro, Tendo? Second back in a row, I had 3k. Like, I don't know what's going on, man. If I were you, I'd play, I'd play lethal fucking tank deer. Shit's broken. 
All right, I'm gonna buy, um, the reason I'm buying Raptor's Cloak is to get more movement speed. Like right now, and then, uh, for the breach. We'll hit him with that. Or I might, I'll probably go all marker instead. I'm gonna go ahead and start maxing, um, Turtle now. Because we're going in pretty goddamn deep. The Nocturne's already completely useless. Oh my god, just looking at that Nocturne build, like, like, come on, man. Like, that's not even, like, trying shit out. That's like, that's like a, a bronze player theory crafting on, like, Boba Fire. I'll explain the uh, like like the rune setup and all this other stuff. Like it doesn't matter if they have tanks or whatever. Like the scaling gets taken out of the fucking uh, window. Like like once when they pick Nocturne and I'm already set to go for the builds, he pretty much like cannot make one single mistake and, can, and cannot fall behind when it comes to comparing jungle to jungle. And then and then we look at top lane and all this other stuff. But that doesn't matter. You always want to start with you versus the enemy jungler, where you where you stand, and how strong are you gonna be, or you know how 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 are you gonna have an impact in the game? And as you can see, this Nocturne held this whole team down. But not saying that it's his fault completely, because there's still four other players in this motherfucking game. What's up, baby? This is that guy, and he doesn't die. He does not die. This is the rainbow. What's up, baby? Suck my dick. That's all you got. You gonna need more than that, baby. You gonna need it all. Boom, boom, stop. I would have had the pins if I didn't walk into the turret, but I couldn't help myself, guys. I could not help myself. It don't matter that the whole enemy team's fucking useless. The bows. You can do that right now, guys, while you're climbing. You know, higher elo, you know, you might not see it like that, but at your elo, you can be that guy. You can be the god deer. Everybody wants to be the god deer. Don't tell me you don't look at that and say, oh, fuck. I want to be that guy, dear. God damn. Ah, that was my Penta, man. So let's let's break this build down so you kind of understand. Oh, the way it's God damn, man. So there are two options you can do. The two options you could go for uh, Resolve, then you're going to get HP, and then you have a choice between the um, the Aftershock, pretty much. Fuck the Grass with Undying, and the other one more supported uh, tank. But we're not about that life. We're not about that life. So what I decided to do instead, knowing that I'm going to build tank and that I'm going to get tenacity from both of uh, the uh, uh, rune setups that I'm going to pick from unflinching. Whenever, whenever if both my summoners are down, I'm getting 20%. Uh, uh, what do you call it? And then lethal, I mean, my bad. Then legend tenacity is also going to stack up to about, um, I think it's 20%. So all in all, and then and then whenever I pop a summoner, 
And I so if I pop ghosts and I smite somebody, I'm gonna get 30% on top. Not saying that you get 15, 15, and then the 10, 10 while it's down, like it all adds up, then it gets to 120%. So it's like, you're not gonna get 130% tenacity if you run Mercs, and then it's gonna reverse CC into the other guy. It's not gonna do that. It's not gonna do that. It's gonna, there's a balance, you know, percentages that you get cucked a little bit. So it's like, okay, if you already have this set, a 10% from, you know, what you already have, blah, blah, blah. I guess that's how it works. Um, and then, you know, but it doesn't matter. You have like 50 to 60 at one point, you know, just run through, especially if I would have bought Mercs, but I'm not going to buy Mercs versus that. Plus, I don't need to buy Mercs uh, when I already got 50% or plus tenacity when I pop my summoners and echo and whatever. So we go over here and you see me fighting, right? And you see this right here, 10% uh, cooldown, lethal uh, tempo is uh, uh, tempo, tempo, tempo. Uh, it's going to give me all that attacks so I can smack, smack, dax, smack, 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 and then boom. Um, I can pass the, uh, what do you call it, if I get to that point. And then, when I take somebody down, Triumph comes into play like a motherfucker. 25 gold on top for the, uh, takedown, plus 15% of your missing shit. So, you get that on top. And then, the tenacity, like I just explained that. And then, uh, coop. Uh, when targets are low, I mean, if you're playing tanks, you can go for cut down or the other one, if it's like 50-50. Um... And then, other than that, you get the 18% attack speed. You start, mach well, you start either one. If you start blue, I would start Machete. If you start red, I'd start um, uh, Hunters. Um, and then I just decided to go for it. Just give it a little extra armor, and that's it. And the reason why I run Ghost is to run through everybody. Oh, and let me explain the build, too. Now, now, remember one thing, guys. Remember one thing. When you match yourself up, I want you guys to understand this. Udyr, tank versus Nocturne, he cannot make mistakes. He builds this item. This item that he built first in Immobos, this completely cucks him. Mm. What I might mean by that, it's like, you're going to fly onto me. Everything that you do is AD. You're probably better off going Warrior. Plus, it gives you CDR. So, that's going to help, you know, get your ulti back so you can use it more. So, hopefully, fuck God, you can snowball a lane. But when you fall behind, and I sit here, and I build Frozen Heart and Ninja Tabbies as my first items... You be completely be uh, become useless, and that's why I started maxing turtle uh, after uh, after three points in bear. Even though I had th I had five three one at, if that was level nine. That's what my no no yeah five three one. So three points in bear, five in phoenix, and one in turtle. But when I realized that you know oh shit I'm gonna be playing fucking stupid now, I started putting more points into tur uh, turtle, and then I decided to go arm record instead of rot because I, you saw what I was doing. I was gonna dive and do stupid shit, and then I went ahead and picked up blood razors. To, to top more attack speed on top of lethal and then of course any type of tank plus like you know just because i build this item if they had no tanks it doesn't matter because udir you know feast off of fucking attack speed i mean i'm getting more attack speed for the lethal tempo for my phoenix stance so it makes sense now if i would have went tiger stance and build fucking this versus this comp then what you're pretty much doing is like fucking Buying, you know, it's just, it doesn't make, let's just say it doesn't make sense. There's no need to make an example or, you know, whatever the fuck, analogy, bullshit. It's, it's just common sense that attack speed and, uh, flame go well together. You know what I'm saying? So, if they do decide to build tank, and J4 will probably be the only one, doesn't, you know, I'll, he's just gonna get melted. I'm gonna get more attack speed plus lethal tempo. And then after that, I decided to buy my MR item, which is this right here. So, mana, more mana. That's all I need, my mana. Uh, um, a little bit of magic resistance, health. Uh, oh, and I would have built. If I would have built Thormel, my last item, I would have been able to walk through all of them with a little bit of help. Now, imagine if I had like Janna, like like any type of support champions that gives me shit. I can walk through everybody. The God is fucking is a fun champion. You know, seeing that type of shit is just great. But that that pretty much explains everything. I didn't have to worry about building MR early because you know Echo didn't get out of hand. And they didn't get fed. And what I did was I tested the limitations of going into champion. Now imagine if uh, you know Nocturne was like three and zero, and you know three and I wouldn't go in like that. But whenever it's like that, you always want to test the limitations of what you can do with the champion, so you kind of get a feel of, uh, of uh, learning the ins and outs of the god there. So um, pop some IGNs in the chat, and there'll be more my ways explaining the actual gameplay. Uh, not like live ways, but my ways as in, you know, me watching um, the spectator uh, video of it so I can break the game down and tell you what I'm thinking here and this and that so you guys can climb some fucking elo because... Open up those gates.